I wanted to create something that was light and easy to digest and flavorful. So I started with this Mina hummus Moroccan chickpea stew, but I didn't actually simmer it right away. What I did is I simmered some vegetables, cauliflower and some power greens, right? So I used half of the power greens in a pot with some cauliflower and garlic and red onions. And then once that had simmered with the Moroccan chickpea stew at the very end, right, to give it a little bit of uh, warm temperature, then I put the uh, whole in, uh, group of it into the pot with the greens, right, into the bowl with the greens. And so then I let all of that just marinate together until I'm ready to consume it, which by the, by the time that occurred, right, which was about, I believe, four hours later, then everything just came together in terms of the, the texture, the taste, but also the softness of the different ingredients. We got garlic in there too. I, I cut the garlic, right? And so, uh, and then the spices I used as the base for the, uh, the vegetables, I used a good amount of turmeric, and then I uh, basted the vegetables themselves I had them soaked in water for just a little bit, like uh, two minutes, and then I drained the water, and then um, I basted them in, in Ethiopian Berber and curry powder. Anyway, the whole thing was uh, cooked in coconut oil, right? Um, and then I let that simmer for about 15 minutes, 15 or 20 minutes, and then I added the Moroccan uh, uh, stew on top of that for about five minutes, stirred that around, let that simmer for another five minutes on top of that, and then put it all together as you see here. The taste is absolutely remarkable. I did not need any extra salt at all. This turned into an actual curry. The whole thing tastes just like Indian curry, straight up. And it's absolutely wonderful. And my feeling is that this meal is going to digest very well. I was looking for some good digestion on this. And the greens that, that were not part of the uh, stew or part of the simmer, those uh, retained their nutrients and their enzymes and everything came together exceptionally well. And I love the taste of this. And I was able to get the Moroccan chickpea stew on sale. So I didn't get it at the full price that it's normally sold. I got it for like, um, what, 50% or 70% the normal price. And it was absolutely delightful. So I hope you found this interesting. And if you have any comments, please let me know. And I hope this finds you well. Thank you.